I'm glad I can share this devotional with you today. It's Monday, the 20th of July, and we're right in the middle of an excessive heat warning. I don't know how well you do in uh, oppressive heat. Uh, I find it a, a difficult time when uh, it's so hot outside, and if there's no uh, storm at night, uh, it can be uh, rather oppressive all day long, and uh, it, can, it can get uh, bothersome and troublesome. Uh, you can see from uh, the window over my shoulder that uh, we don't have air conditioning in this uh, room, which functions as uh, my office at home uh, during um, uh, while I'm while I'm at home instead of at uh, the church. So it gets hot in here too. And I was thinking about a devotional t- today about uh, some thoughts about the Lord uh, uh, bringing us relief in times of heat. Of course, we're in a time where there's quite a bit of heat on our souls from what's happened with the coronavirus, with the lockdowns, uh, with uh, life getting back to normal. All these things can be oppressive too. So in that uh, atmosphere, in this atmosphere, I want to read uh, perhaps a familiar uh, passage of scripture to you from Psalm 121. It goes like this. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. And then it says this. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade. Now, of course, the writer of this psalm was writing in the ancient uh, Near East, uh, in near around Jerusalem, and that's a desert climate there. Some of us from uh, the Northeast uh, might not be familiar with desert, uh, but we do have desert in uh, the United States, and uh, do have, and I'm sure a number of you have visited deserts in various places around the world. The sun in the desert can be wearying and can be dizzying with the heat that keeps coming down upon our heads. And if you've been out in the desert, of course, there are very few places, if any places, uh, that you can find shade. Maybe there's a large cactus that you might be able to get yourself uh, behind or under. Maybe there's a Joshua tree uh, that uh, uh, is out in the desert that you can get under. But it's not like here in the Northeast where you can probably find a tree um, if not to go uh, to, in, to an inside uh, spot to get some shade. But in the desert, there doesn't seem to be any shade uh, at all. But the Lord is the shade. And that's something I think we can think about today is we're in a time in our uh, life as an American nation where uh, we're wondering when will this lockdown lift. Uh, we're wondering when uh, things will get back to normal, if they'll get back to normal. It's a time to seek the Lord, for he can provide shade for us. You might be saying in what ways? He will meet us in our hearts, and he will give us peace in our souls. He will give us direction for living. He will give us strength to overcome the adversities that are before us. For by his spirit, he will give us the power that we need to do these things. It's not by might not by power, but it is by my spirit, says the Lord. So says Zechariah, chapter 4, verse 6. So if you're looking for a place of rest today, you're looking for a place of shade, if you're looking for a place where you won't be weary and can find some peace, I invite you to come to the Lord and find peace in him. Why don't you join me now with just a brief prayer. Thank you, our Father, for being our shade, the shade of our right hand. And you know at times we feel like we're in desert conditions. We pray today that you would give us the relief and the peace that we need. And that we will find that peace and comfort in your presence. Remind us, refresh us, that you are with us at all times. And be with those uh, that we love today as well. We pray today in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you. May God bless you today.